everyone, it's Joanna Sosa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna explain this to you guys because I'm so happy that this mask has actually worked for me. Um, I don't know if you guys been watching my videos lately, but if you notice on my left side of my eye, I had a, how you say it? A chalazium? Chalazium? Something like that? I don't know how to really pronounce it. Chalazium? 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 I don't know. You guys help me because as you guys know, I'm horrible at pronouncing things. But basically what it is, or how I got it, let me just explain how I got it. The reason why I got it was so many months ago, I had a sty in my eye. And, you know, it's just a normal sty that people normally get in their eyes. And I kind of know exactly how I got the sty. I believe it's from this mascara that I had that was kind of old and I still used it, which I know I shouldn't have, but whatever. Um, I got the sty and after I guess the sty, it didn't fully um recover it didn't fully go away on its own like it didn't really heal on its own so since it didn't heal on its own i got like this big lump on my eye and it was very i mean it didn't really bother me because it wasn't so so bad but it was there for like a couple of months now like i'll say for like four or five months already and I was, was getting tired of seeing it, like, especially when I'm doing my makeup. It was, like, so, like, oh, oh my gosh, like, it's so annoying. <laughs> but anyways, um, I found this new method of how to get rid of it, like, literally within, like, two days, a day, depending how big it is and how your thing is. And basically, what a chalazium, chalazium, whatever you say, it's basically oil that's built up on either the top lid or some people get on the bottom of the lids and you know it's basically oil build up in your like a little just build up <laughs> you guys probably research i'll probably put like the definition right here or something because i'm horrible at explaining things <laughs> but anyways if you want to see how i got rid of this overnight then just keep on watching and by the way i'm sorry that I have no makeup on this is my bare face so if you don't like it then there's a little magical little button that you could just hit on next video or you could just hit the X button whichever side it is so whatever and I still think I look beautiful without makeup okay so how I got rid of it is you know I was trying to put warm compression on it because I seen that online if you put warm compression on it it should heal by itself well, I was putting so much more in things. Like, I would take, like, a cloth, a normal cloth, and I will put it in hot, hot, hot water until, and then I'll take it off the hot water, and then once it's, you know, warm enough for me to put on my eyelids so I don't burn myself, and I'll leave it there for a couple of minutes. And I was trying that, and it wasn't working, so I'm, like, I was getting very really frustrated because I'm, like, why is this not working? Like, I was trying and trying and trying. Another thing that I did try was, um, I would take hot water, and I'll literally just put it in my eye like when I'm taking a shower or I'll put my head up and I'll just let the warm water <laughs> hit my eye. And that wasn't working. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like I was getting so frustrated. Like you don't understand how frustrated I was getting because it wasn't healing. I tried putting almond oil on it. I tried putting coconut oil on it. Basically anything that you could think of, I was trying to put in my eyelids to get rid of it and it wasn't working. So one day I was um, feeding my son some rice. And, you know, I don't know how this came to my head when I was feeding my son some rice, but I'm like, you know what? What if I put dry rice inside a sock? And the reason why I say a sock, uh, it's just how my mind works. I'm sorry. I know this sounds crazy. But since I was feeding my son rice, and I'm like, hmm, I was like, what can I put the rice in? So... I just thought of a sock because my son is always taking off his right socks or he's just taking off his socks like you know how kids are he was taking off his socks so I'm like let me try to put this rice inside a sock and of course I put it in a clean sock and this is actually a sock that I was using I mean this is not the exact sock but it's basically the same just a normal sock and you want to make sure it's a clean sock you don't want like a sock that's been used for like thousands of years and you're like one of those people that have been using the same sock since like high school or something you just want to put some rice in here and then once you put the rice in here you just tie in a knot like let's just pretend 
that there's rice in here i'll probably show you around right here of me actually doing it just to show you guys and once you put the rice in there you tie it up and then you want to put this depending what kind of microwave you have like 30 seconds 40 seconds no more than a minute because if you burn the rice your rice is gonna smell like burnt popcorn and i'm not lying to you and that's a horrible smell once you take it out the microwave you want to make sure that it's warm if it's too hot just wait like you could tell by just holding it make sure that it's not really hot and all you want to do is literally just put it on your eye like just put it in your eyelid for as long as you want until the rice gets cold that's basically what i was doing and once you're done with that you want to take baby shampoo is what i was using once you're done with that just clean your, your eyes with baby shampoo and literally when i did that the next day it went down like i was like yes like you don't understand how happy it was like it finally went down so this method really works i'm not lying to you um i'll probably put a picture right here so you guys can see how my eyelid looks and you want to see now how it is so as you see i'm still working on it but if you see it's not bad how it was before like it's still there a little bit but it went down so much like i'll say probably hopefully by tomorrow it's gone but i did this yesterday and it worked and it went down so much so i'm like oh my gosh i have to share it with you guys so if you guys know any other ways how to remove it or any tips or tricks or anything just leave them down below and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video and that's it so bye everyone the products I'm going to be talking about, they're, like, really good. Like, it actually was leaving my hair, like, amazing like, compared to, like, other drugstore um, shampoos and conditioners. So, uh, if you guys want to see which two products I'm talking about, then continue watching.